ってるよ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Okay, here we are at Dawson, North Dakota and we stayed at the Wolf Grill and Bar and sort of campground in the back dollars a night uh, passport America yeah yeah it was quiet except for the thunderstorm and the hail we had last night that wasn't real good but nothing got hurt we're safe everything's good we rocked a little bit and it rocked us to sleep just about just about so today we're heading off we're still going west on 94 in North Dakota and we're heading towards the Roosevelt National Park south entrance where we're going to check out that park and show you all about it as much as we can so here we go as down, down the, the road, road we go. Everybody's going to the lake to go fishing. I've seen about 15 trucks go by pulling boats, so it must be fishing day to day. Today's Saturday, everybody's out fishing. Okay. The steak was was pretty good at the bar. It was a little uh a little, expensive, but... a little expensive, but we're out in the middle of nowhere, so you know. Oh, I didn't even see that tank last night. I didn't night. either. Big old honking tank sitting in the park when we came in. Here's something great. If it's during the daytime, their visitor center is open, which is right downtown on Main Street. And they have public restrooms there and some um, information. Unfortunately, by the time we got here, they were closed. So we didn't get any information. But it's a pretty neat little town. It really is. Everybody seems to keep their lawns cut and everything. Not so much the RV part, but everybody keeps their nice. Oh, they got a nice old gas station there oh, on the right hand cool. side. They got some new houses. So we're hoping the sun comes out a little bit today. It's just kind of starting to break through the clouds a little. In so, one half mile, turn left on I 94 West.
We're gonna be getting in some rain here for too long. And that is Salem Sioux. So let's take a walk up here and look around. And Salem Sioux is appropriately above Salem, North Dakota, and looking down on the valley. It's a beautiful place. So we got off of 94 on the Enchanted Highway and made our way down a two-lane road through some beautiful countryside and a lot of man-made sculptures out of metal on the sides of the road. So come along and check it out. This is the Enchanted Castle, it says. Well, we got a, another bunch of sculptures that are on the road here on this enchanted highway in North Dakota. Apparently, they are grasshoppers. There's a big one and a bunch of little ones. Okay, we're at the next sculpture that was along the highway. This is a fisherman's. Can you guess that? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Big fish and little guy in little boat. This is this is pretty interesting. It's a good way to break up the day. Here's the next one. It's called Pheasants on the Farm. You've got the parents and the little chicks. Somebody has spent a lot of money to get people to come down this road. It's a beautiful road. The scenery is gorgeous, and then you've got these to stop at. You can picnic here. They've got a picnic table. I think one of these will stop and have lunch. So Shirley's taking a bunch of pictures. And we leave here. It's on to the next one, I think, which is only two miles down the road. Okay, this is Teddy Rides Again, an outline of Teddy Roosevelt up there, and a stagecoach down here. And I guess you can go up and get in the stagecoach. Let's take a look. Uh, be careful getting out of there. <laughs> okay, this uh, this is called the Tin Family. Mom, a dad, and a boy. Places have been weird, but they're cool weird. So, not really sure what town it's in, but this is the end of the Enchanted Highway sculptures, and they have a gift shop and a museum. We're in Hedinger County, but not sure what the name is. This little burg is. This is some more of the sculptures here. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> 
And then of course there's a Shannon Highway gift shop, of course. It is. It's all metal, isn't it? That is pretty wild. It's all metal. Oh yeah, it'll cut you. We're in the Enchanted Highway gift shop. All kinds of neat stuff in here. And apparently it helps to support the all the sculptures and everything. What you looking at, Shirley? T-shirt? Yeah. going to be a dragon sooner or later. That's a skeleton. Pretty cool. After seeing all the sculptures on the Enchanted Highway and stopping in Regent, North Dakota for a good stop at the gift shop, we drove on another 20 miles to get back to 94 and went west. We were going to stop in uh, Belfield and camp, which we eventually did, but we thought we'd check out Medora, which was the city where the south entrance of Roosevelt National Park is. So come along for the ride and the surprise on Saturday afternoon. After Medora, we took off back east about 15 miles to go to Belfield where we were camping for the night. But along the way, we stopped at the turnout that overlooks Roosevelt National Park. It's a regular rest stop, and it looked like they had all night parking there and stuff, but there was a lot of people there. And this is the scenery you see looking out the back of the rest stop. Thanks for coming along for the ride today as we went from Dawson, North Dakota to Belfield, North Dakota, and a little bit of Roosevelt National Park. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to subscribe, and make sure you click the little bell so you get notified every time a new episode comes out. Thanks again for watching Down the Road We Go.